Home with Covenant Consultant, and today is part two of a lead generation conversation that we were having. Um, I'm a, I'll be direct with you today. Today, I'm selling you a training course. Today, I'm going to talk to you in detail about a training course that I am or that I have created, and uh, I want to give you the whole skinny on what it's about, what it, what it, what it, is, what it isn't about, who it's good for, how you can use it, how you shouldn't use it. I'm going to give you the whole skinny today. But if the idea of me selling you a training course turns you off, if you don't want to be sold to, if, if, if you know, ugh, close out, find your, find your X button, close out, continue on with your day. I do not want to be a, a pest to you today. But I'm offering this as a, as a solution to people who realize and acknowledge that lead generation is their number one concern. So if right now in your business, lead generation is the issue, if that's what's confronting you, then I'm, I'm trying to offer you what I believe to be the healthiest, most efficient approach to solve that problem. So today I've got a bunch of notes uh, in front of me today. Um, and so I'm going to do my best to, to navigate all the, all the information without being completely overwhelming. <laughs> uh, that training course that I'm describing is, is linked in the uh, description here or, or, ver or very close to you. So you, you should be able to, to click it uh, and make that purchase if that's what you want to do. So let me, let me, let me um, begin at, at the beginning. We talked about, I want to talk about the digital effect. So the last uh, uh, Facebook Live that I did was about, in short, this thing called the digital effect. Inter the, the internet, internet marketing, digital marketing, online marketing, whatever, you, whatever name you want to call it, is rapidly changing business. We know that. Thinking about this through the eyes of your client. Your client started their business in 1995, 2000, 2005, etc. When they got started, with their business or when they were when they were building their business the internet was not a thing it wasn't a requirement it wasn't necessary we didn't know what it was in, in 1995 we didn't, no one knew what the internet was no one no one needed a website but long story short cuz i already told told the longer story in the in the in the earlier video long story short since 1995 every 5 years some internet thing has happened whether it's you got to have a website, you got to SEO, you got to content marketing, you got to know Facebook, you got to know social, you got to know. And so for your client, this thing called digital happened to them. It wasn't part of their um, uh, professional upbringing. It wasn't part of their uh, college education, professional education, master's degree, certifications. Your client is not an expert in digital. Frankly, they don't care about it or understand it that much. However, digital at this point is not going away and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And their clients, their customers are looking for companies that are savvy in this digital realm. Long story short, digital is frustrating for your client. They don't understand it. It's not what, it's not what they grew up using or doing. So they, they don't know how to use it. Yet the, the, the marketplace is like, do it more, do it more, do it more every day. That creates a series of problems for your client. You have answers. You have solutions to those problems. And so what I'm describing today in the value of this training course does not matter if, if what I just said is not true for you. You've got to have a solution to a client, to, to a problem that your client has. And I bet that solution involves digital in some way, whether it's content creation, digital, um, whether it's web design, uh, web copy, design, all that kind of stuff, digital, whether it's um, uh, getting metrics on fr from digital efforts and understanding those, whether it's tracking efforts, whether it's conversion improvement, whether it's workflow and automation improvement, we can go on and on and on. But that's all these things are remarkably different now because this thing called digital exists. So that is our digital effect. That's real. That's happening. Your clients got problems. You've got you've got answers. So then let's talk about oh well hey, well as we transition, but your job is to put yourself in front of your client so they know you exist. And that's the issue that I am finding a lot of people 
like you are, are that's their fundamental challenge is that they are not having enough conversations. They're not putting themselves in front of people who have these challenges. So what I'm saying to you very directly is that you've got to do something about that. It's not, it won't fix itself. You've got to do something about that. So now let's talk about your challenge with lead generation. Let's talk about how lead generation is affecting you. <laughs> um, there were a number of responses I got to a survey I put out. I asked, how would you like to use specifically LinkedIn in order to generate new business? And there's a couple of those that I want to read. Um, well, I'll give you the, the kind of the, the short summary here of a couple of them. So uh, the first sentence here was, the one thing I'd like to know most is what is a good enough set of approaches for getting started with this? I think one of the really challenging things nowadays is that there is so much information that basically I don't know what to do. They go on and on about basically just not knowing how much to do. Then they get to a line here that says, um, I'm stuck in the middle of learning about stuff, suffering from anxiety and fear, but all that learning, right? Um, rather than putting perfection aside and just doing what needs to be done. But I need to start smart, and they highlighted smart. I really appreciate that. It's a lot of ideas out here, a lot of possibilities out here, but you want to do something, but, but, but what you want to do is smart. So I appreciate that. There was an, 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 another thought that came. Um, from the survey. This person said, I struggle with organizing LinkedIn leads for optimal follow-up and follow-through. Seems like there should be a better way than just having a spreadsheet. Sales Navigator is good, but it doesn't function like a CRM. And so because I'm not organized enough, I'm not maximi maximizing my follow-up efforts. Smart. Got it. Got it. There was one more that I, I think appropriately kind of summarizes the general sentiment I got from this survey. I'd like to learn how to generate leads consistently and on autopilot. I've got two clients who use LinkedIn religiously for leads uh, with success, but I'm not as active on the platform. I have a profile and that's, and that's about it. So I got a lot of responses, but they kind of fit somewhere within that world. You know, How do I use it? What's the basic approach? Give me the minimum number of steps so I can see some value from it. How do I follow up? Because LinkedIn is horrible at that as far as the software itself. And how do I automate or put this on autopilot? So that's what we're talking about, right? That, that's, that's what we're working through here. Let's move on. Let's move on here. So I want to tell you a short story about my own about my own, and I see some questions com coming in here. So what I'll do is at the end, I'll address those questions. Please keep asking them uh, as you have them, and I'll come back at the end and address them so I can kind of tackle them all, all, all at once. So let me give you my personal story with lead generation. I'll, I'll, make, I'll make this brief so I don't belabor the point, but I think this, this is, I think you'll find some commonality between, between you and I. I can't tell you how many lead generation strategies I've tried, how many different types I've tried. I actually made a list and I added them up and I got to over 35. So I've been in business for about 10 years. 2008 is when I put up my, put up my first website and started doing this business stuff, okay? And in that time frame, I've tried 35 specifically different ways. And there's nuances amongst those 35, but we won't go overboard. 35 specifically different ways to generate new leads. Let me tell you, can I cut to the end, right? Just kind of give you the answer so you don't have to go, go through 35 of your own if, 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 you're, if you're not at that number yet. What are you at, 18, 22, right? I mean, my gosh. But um, human conversations are the premium lead generation strategy. There's nothing better than a human conversation to facilitate a sale. There is nothing better. I have found nothing better. I have done nothing better. And I've tried every, almost every, content this, paid advertising that, strategic partner this, joint venture that, link building this, been down that road. Really did them too, really did them. Nothing is better than the human one-on-one -on -one conversation. So my advice to you, my advisory to you is to create a process that facilitates and creates the maximum number of human conversations you can stand, the maximum number of highest quality 
human conversations you can stand. If lead generation is your number one challenge, what you need are more conversations. And you've got to create some sort of mechanisms, some sort of process that will give you more human conversations. Yeah, <laughs> no more to say about that. So that so that's that is that is today's challenge. Now, let me tell you. Let me tell you about your story with lead generation. So I talk to real people like you on the phone all the time, and I hear the stories. I hear the stories people want to tell me. And then eventually they tell me the story they don't want to tell me they, about how long how long and hard it's really been. And so let me let me give you a short summary of what I've been hearing from, from people like you for the years that I've been supporting people like you. Big idea number one, most agencies have no formal lead generation process. What I have found is that people people fall in one of two basic categories. There is the zealot and the opportunist. I, I, did, I did a long video on this already, but short version, the zealot builds their business off of pure brute force. You had a job or you worked for a company you didn't like and you were like, forget this, I'm gonna do my own thing. And just by, just because you were so mad at them and so bothered by that, by sheer brute force, you have built this business. But at some point, whether it's six days, six months, six years, at some point, that pure unbridled irritation just doesn't support the business anymore. You just you just can't keep forcing yourself, forcing your business into all these new situations. You need a more elegant way of doing things. You get tired. And when you get tired, the whole business slows down. The other category is the opportunist. So the opportunist just kind of got lucky. You know, they got a couple of friends, a couple, couple of people like them and respect them. And the phone rang one day and somebody was like, hey, can you help us do X project? And you were thinking, sure. A business is born. So they paid you 10 grand, 20 grand, 100 grand, whatever that number was. They, they were your first client. And because you helped the first person, they referred you to another person. And because you helped those two, you got referred to a third person. And more or less, it just kind of just worked on its own. It just kind of just built itself. There's nothing wrong with that either. But at some point, the, these, these, um, these good luck opportunities, this good fortune, seems to slow down. And at some point, the phone stops ringing the way it used to ring. At some point, those magical emails don't just pop up the way they used to pop up. And what do you do? You got a brand new situation. And so what I've learned, the next thing that happens is that because you're smart at marketing and you're good at marketing, you start marketing your business. So all these things you know how to do, you're now doing. So again, SEO this, LinkedIn that, content this, paid advertising that, all those things you start to do for your business. And it feels really good because you're testing and you're tweaking and you're playing with marketing. And that feels really good, but it's not as productive. It doesn't get you to the bottom line conversations that you're trying to have, right? F fun with marketing. And some of that stuff may work on some level, but it's not consistent the way you want. It's not generating conversations the way you want. Fall short, okay? And so then I've learned in talking to folks like you, that effort soon dissolves into panic, pure panic. Now it's we'll do anything. We'll say anything to put ourselves in front of a deal. So now you will, you will bundle services and sell them as a pack. Now you'll slash prices. Now you'll, you'll accept projects that you really don't know how to do, but you need the revenue. And now you and your team are trying to figure out how do we do this? Well, I have no idea how to do this. And, 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 and this panic creates even more pain inside your business. <laughs> Been there, done that, y'all. Like that's that's how I know this. So I, I know this because I've had my own experience with it. It's also something that I, that people, when they tell me the real story, it sounds something like this: things were going well. We we tried some marketing things, but now we're in a place of panic. And you make really bad decisions when you get to, get to that place of panic. So hopefully, in this in this piece of content right here, you're getting to see those choices differently and ma and make some better decisions. I'm trying to do my best to help. All right, so now let's shift to a better process. What's a better way of thinking about lead generation? What's, what's a, a, a better way of, of, 
of generating new conversations. What's a, what's a, what's, what is this better process? Okay. Let's start here. Let's start here. Let's, let's kind of new beginning here. What's a client worth to you? What's the value of a new client? What's the financial value of having a new client? I've asked the question. You already had a gut response. Maybe you didn't say anything, but you've already had a gut response. There's a number that kind of that kind of hits you in your hits you in your belly. That that that, that kind of hits you in your stomach. I'm telling you directly right now. If if, if that's a three figure number, two fifty, five hundred, seven ninety nine, this is the wrong place for you. Close out your browser. Continue on with your day. I do not want to waste any more of your time. You are in the wrong place. If you're selling services at hundreds of dollars of, of an offering, if, if the value of a new client, the total offering, total value of a new client is X hundred dollars, you're in the wrong place. I'm telling you now, I'm, I'm, I'm recommending LinkedIn as this place where you go to have new conversations. It is not worth your time to build LinkedIn. It is not worth your time to have conversations if the sum financial value is a couple of hundred dollars. The math doesn't work. Do the math yourself. Grab a sheet of paper. Do the math and see how many clients you have to close at X number hundred dollars before you, the, your business begins to feel good to you. It doesn't work. So to fast forward, you need to be at at least four figures. A thousand dollars can't be scary to you. Five thousand dollars can't be scary to you. Ten thousand dollars can't be scary to you. Twenty five thousand dollars can't be scary to you. Now everybody's playing a different level, so I'm not not here to judge or, or, or kind of get too heavy into that. But what I'm trying to say very plainly is that if you're going to spend the effort to make LinkedIn work, if you're going to spend the effort to talk to people and have real conversations, you got to be solving real problems. And 200 bucks just doesn't resonate with you or with the person you serve. You've got to be playing at a higher level for anything else I say after this to resonate with you. That's the beginning of a better process. We got to have a better picture. Okay. Now, so so what is the what is the base process? The base process here, we're talking about LinkedIn, right? The base process here is you want to be able to introduce yourself. You want to be able to have an honest conversation and then introduce your services as a solution if that's appropriate. Reach out, have a conversation, and then introduce your services, if that makes sense, right? That's what you want. And you want to be able to do that as oftentimes as possible, as oftentimes as appropriate. What I'm saying to you is that LinkedIn is the best place to do what I just described. If you do nothing else, if you have no other platforms, if you have no other strategies, if you need one thing to do, I'm recommending, heavily recommending LinkedIn be where you focus your efforts so you can generate better conversations. Why? Very quickly. LinkedIn is the biggest professional network there is. Of all the major players, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, etc., LinkedIn is the only one that's focused specifically on professionals. In fact, I looked up their mission statement and it reads, <laughs> and it reads, the mission of LinkedIn is simple. Connect the world's professionals to make them more productive and successful. C connect the world's professionals to make them more productive and successful. LinkedIn is trying to be a conversation place. Let it do that for you. Let it be what it's trying to be. Also about LinkedIn is that most people are doing LinkedIn poorly. That actually plays to your advantage. Most folks are doing LinkedIn backwards. They're spamming the heck out of people or just plainly not representing themselves in the, in the best way. So you have an opportunity here to engage on LinkedIn in a, in a fresh way, have fresh conversations and really gain some traction and excitement about what it is that you offer. Now, what I want to do is talk about um, <laughs> uh, some proof and some complexity. What I've already put on uh, the sales page for this training course, which again is, 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 is in a link below this uh, content here, is proof of what happened when I did exactly what I am offering you. So I've taken a process, I've executed that process, I've seen some results, and I'm offering that exact same process to you. And so there's already proof points of what I'm talking about. But, but I got responses from people, right? People I did not know before. All right. I got responses from people that in their first reaction back to me, in their first response to me, they put their email address 
in the response. Alze, it sounds great. Send me an email, please. Alze, some of them put a, put a phone number in the response. Alze, sounds great. Would you call me, please, at this number? Or they said, Alze, sounds great. Please send me more information. Or Alze, sounds great. When can we speak? Or some people even proposed a time to speak. Alze, are you free on this day or on that day to have, have a conversation? These are folks that 24 hours before, 48 hours before, a week before, had no idea who I was. They did not know who I was. But they were now interested in engaging with me about the services that I offer. And it's not because I'm super smart or super slick or I had some special marketing whatever. It's because I approached LinkedIn in a in a methodical way, in a very intentional way. And I introduced myself to these people in an appropriate way that drives conversation. So they were happy to have some interaction. And they knew very well I sold something, right? We're all service providers. We all sell something, right? So we, 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 they were excited to have that conversation. But here's what I want to make sure that you see and understand as we continue the appreciation of, of what LinkedIn makes available. <laughs> there are some reasons why it won't work for you. I wish I had some delicate way of saying it, but I don't. So I'll just be direct. There are some ways where you can break it, where you can break the LinkedIn process. And there are some reasons why, why, why in your previous attempts to leverage LinkedIn, it just didn't work for you. So let me kind of go through that a bit. Number one is I just explained the basic outline here, right? It's like networking. You open the door, you say hello, you shake someone's hand, you engage. If appropriate, you take them, you take them to an offline conversation. LinkedIn works the same way. You open the door by connecting. You shake their hand by welcoming them and saying hello. You engage appropriately. And if a next step is appropriate, it'll be obvious. And we just have the next conversation about, about doing work together. That's the basic outline. But if you've got any experience on LinkedIn or any other platform for that matter, you know there's some things that I didn't just say. There's some stuff I didn't mention. There are some things you have to have right or have to have clear in order to make LinkedIn valuable for you. So one reason why it doesn't work is because you may have seen somebody else's content or tried to borrow somebody, else, somebody else's approach. The outline looks simple. And the first thing you realize is there's some stuff they didn't tell you. <laughs> so I'm admitting to that right now. And I'm going to give you some more detail in just a moment. But part of why it doesn't work is because you didn't bring all the right tools to the table in the first place. You didn't approach it the right way. Right. OK. Another reason why it doesn't work is that something unique about your situation will eventually change the approach, right? We're not all templated, right? We're human beings. We're all a bit different. And so something about perhaps the service you offer might tweak the approach. Something about the client you serve might need, might need to tweak the, the, uh, the, the approach. Something about your background and the story that you're telling as a business might need to tweak the approach. Maybe your last name is really, really long and it won't fit in the in the character space that LinkedIn gives you. And so you got to tweak how you represent your last name, whatever. Something about your situation will tweak the approach. So we can't have this templated. Just tell me what to do and it'll all just work. You got to think it through. Right. And so some some of the reasons why it may not have worked in the past is because you didn't or weren't willing to make those tweaks because uh, inevitably something will, 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 ha will have to be changed. LinkedIn is social media, y'all. LinkedIn is social media, which means <laughs> which means it will change. Link, uh, uh, LinkedIn, like any other platform, changes. When Google changed its algorithm, people freaked out. When Facebook changed its algorithm, people freaked out. LinkedIn has changed its algorithm over time. People freak out. And, when, and every time one of those changes happens, people freak out and start over. They were doing what they were doing and having so much success, right? And then the algorithm change happens, and all of a sudden, everything is gone. They go from making money to not making money at all. They go back to zero, and they start over. You've got to have a process that is, that is change-resistant, if not change-proof. You've got to have a process that isn't built on some hack or secret thing. you got to build a helpful, intentional process that will stand the test of time, built on good fundamentals, right? That, but that's why it didn't work or that's why, why it doesn't work for other folk is because what they've built won't stand the change of the platform, the inevitable change of the platform. Lastly here about why, why it won't work for you is that is that you got to be goal focused. So there are things that matter and money was not going to fly out of your computer. So if money is all you're measure, measuring, you're not doing it right. The, you, you're trying to identify the right people, connect with them 
have conversations, and from that conversation, the next thing can happen. Each of those can be measured and should be measured. And they tell you about where you are in the pipeline. They tell you about where you are in the response of your audience. Each of those metrics speaks. They, those, those metrics communicate. But if you aren't looking at, looking at it that way, again, so the, the approach you take on, on, on LinkedIn has to be one that looks towards a solution, or I'm sorry, that looks towards a measurable, appropriate outcome. Okay. So with all that said, and by the way, you got a question, you got a comment, you got a concern, type it, type it in the box there. I'll, I'll, I'll address all, all of those when I, when, I get, when I get finished here. So then, so then, bottom line here, what's inside the training course? So I'm, I'm, I'm describing that if lead generation is, is, your, is your number one issue, you're in the right place. Got it. I'm suggesting that LinkedIn be where you focus your effort because you can get the greatest return back. You can have human conversations. Got it. Well, I'm offering a, a, a training course right now, right? So what's inside the box, so to speak? So let's walk through that so you know what's, what's going on actually inside the course. First of all here, the training course is organized as a process. It's organized to walk you through a process, not give you a tour of LinkedIn. Who cares about the 500 things that LinkedIn can do? Who cares? What you want are more conversations, so let's use it as a process. So number one, the training course is organized as a process. Number two is that that process is designed to protect your daily workflow. You only have so many hours in the day. So you, so you cannot, you cannot, you cannot spend all day long tinkering with LinkedIn. You need to be able to use LinkedIn and, and move on and do whatever else it is you, you want to do. Talk to other clients, service your existing clients, talk to your team members, take a nap, eat lunch, or whatever else matters to you, right? So this, 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 this training course is designed as a process that protects your daily workflow, I'm trying to get you in and out of LinkedIn in one hour a day. More, more, more or less, right? One, one hour a day inside LinkedIn gets you the conversations you want, all right? Here's some bullet points here about, about the overall of, of what's, what's in, inside the program. How to maximize LinkedIn's core functionality as a B2B communications tool. How to maximize that core functionality. How to systematically build relationships with the kind of clients that pay, that stay, and that refer. How do you systematically build those kinds of relationships? How to be seen as the expert in every interaction. Every time someone touches you, every time you touch someone else, they should know they're interacting with an expert. How do you create that in every single interaction? How to turn or how to connect with your ideal prospect. So the people you actually want to talk to, how do you connect with those people? How do you turn connections into appointments? So once you connect, how do you actually get them on the phone and, ha and have that conversation? How do you turn an appointment into a sale? When you're on the phone, how does that then turn into a sale? How do you follow up for months and years to come? How do you, how do you get the maximum out of, out, of, out of all these new relationships? And there's some advanced tactics I want to show you about how to increase the speed, how to do this LinkedIn thing even faster if that's, if that's what you want to do and are prepared to do. So now, let me, let me tackle those things in detail. By the way, got a question about any of those things, post that question, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to respond. So um, um, the program, or the training course rather, begins with a welcome, right? Just kind of make sure that, that, you're, that you're in the right mindset, got the right expectations about, about how this whole thing should shake out. So you get, you get welcomed. The next step in the training course is about uh, the right tools and the right rules of engagement. Let me explain what, explain what I mean here. What you're trying to do, the basic approach to LinkedIn is you create a profile and you surround yourself with your ideal client. You create the right kind of profile and then surround yourself with, 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 with the ideal client. Not random people, but the folks you actually want to be connected to. That's the approach. And so it, there's a framework that I offer you in a way of th thinking inside the training course where we go from 1,000 to 100 to 5. So create a universe of, of ideal clients. That's 1,000 people in size. There are 1,000 people. But we're going to assume that you only connect with 100. We're going to assume that 90% of the people do not ever want to hear from you again because you're too tall, too short, your eyes are too big, eyes are too small whatever, right? Your hair is curly, your hair is long, whatever. For whatever reason, they don't connect with you. 
So 100 people will connect with you. That's our assumption. And of those 100 new connections, five will become clients in the short term. That's the way we're thinking about this. So our, our approach to LinkedIn is, is, isn't trying to connect to 5 million people and whatever. Highest quality clients offering the highest quality services, five will, will, will become clients in the short term. And then from then you can build and you can grow, okay? So next step here, what tools do you need, right? Because there are some tools you need to make LinkedIn work. I broke out nine basic tools, things you gotta have, and then three advanced tools tools. Here are some of the tools that, that I just want to say out loud so you kind of know, know what's, what's really important here. You got to have a client avatar. You got to be focused on, on a very specific type, type of client. You got to have a clear service. You got to know what you're offering people. You got to have a relevant LinkedIn profile, one that speaks to the service you offer and speaks to the, the people you, you, you want to work with. You got to have the premium sales navigator. That's the, that's the premium uh, account inside of, of, of LinkedIn. Those are some of the basics. There are more. That, that's like four or five of the nine. There are, there are more and there are even some advanced things. We're just, we're just trying to give you a picture here of what you got to commit to so that or what you got to already have so that LinkedIn can be uh, of, of, of advantage to you. But now I'm going to go a bit in more detail about each of those things so you know what you're committing to here. So then the next step of the training course is about setting up the process and make sure that, that you have all the right things in place. I'm going to give you a format for a rapid client avatar. I'm assuming that you already know who your ideal client is and that you already have at least some sense about who it is you're trying to serve here. But I want to give you a format to get that person refined rapidly, immediately, so you can, you can see it. You can see it, frame it up, and take the next step. I don't want you stuck trying to invent a new avatar. See it, frame it, take the next step. Also includes rapid service creation. You know I'm a major fan of productized services, and, and I've got a completely different premium coaching program specifically for, for folks who want to do the productized service thing and go, and go next level. But right now in this training course, we're not trying to do all that. We're, we're moving faster. So I'm assuming here that you already know what you're offering. You've already got it pretty well structured. And I'm going to give you a framework here to check it, make sure it's good to go and run it and push to the next step. Because right now we're focused on lead generation, right? So let, let's, let's, let, let's push to that next step. I'm going to show you how to update your profile. So yes, LinkedIn profile is important. It's important because that's what people use to judge you. Yes, people judge you on LinkedIn. So they look at your profile, decide whether, whether they want to connect, decide if they want to talk to you, decide what you might have in common, then they move on. And you've got to have a way of, of constructing your profile so that it speaks the right language. Warning, there's a way that LinkedIn's going to ask you to build your profile that does not help you, that does not serve you. LinkedIn is going to ask you to cram a bunch of stuff in your profile that does not belong. So you don't need a full profile the way that LinkedIn describes it. You don't, need, you don't need a full profile. You need a useful profile. So I want to help you build a useful profile. You got to have the LinkedIn premium account, period, bottom line. You cannot use LinkedIn to its maximum effectiveness with the free account. Can't do it. No way. Not possible. So if you think you can do that, close out the browser, close out, continue on with the day. I don't want to waste any more of your time. You need the premium account. Why? Quickly. First reason why is, is because the premium account gives you access to the entire LinkedIn network. You can see and search the entire LinkedIn network via a premium account. You cannot do it with the free account. So you're limited to only the people who are directly connected to you, the size of your network. That's not enough people, flat out, period, bottom line. It's just not enough people. You need access to, to the entire network. That's one. Two is the premium account gives you an opportunity to connect to those people. You can actually reach out to them, say hello, and bring them into your world. You can't do that with, with, the, with, the, with the free account. <laughs> you need the free account. I'm sorry, you, you, need, you need the premium account. You cannot do it with the free account. I'm, mo I'm moving on. Um, you need a connect to conversation process. So this is, this is about uh, the, the, the messaging scripts. I'm going to give you those inside the training course. So I'll show you what scripts to use and, and how to think about those scripts so you can edit them as you need to for your situation. So you can connect the way you want to connect and then lead people to a conversation as appropriate. So I give you that. There's, there's, a, there's a short section inside the training course about sales confidence. It is, it is amazing to me how people ruin otherwise good conversations. I made a point about being an expert in every interaction. 
Well, if you've done your job, if you are the expert, when you get somebody on the phone, don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. And so there's a there's a segment in the in the training course specifically about how to shape those conversations the right way so you don't break what you've built. You need to have a good conversation with your ideal clients, right? So I want to help you do that. And I'm calling that sales, sales confidence. There's some business goals you got to have. I want to help you shape those for your own situations quickly. Again, the quick version, not the six month version. There's a there's a there's value in the long version, but right now we're trying to use, we're trying to move with speed so you can generate more leads. And so I, I help you shape some goals and I, and I show you some advanced advanced tools to to help you automate and kind of systemize uh, some some of the effort here. Content pieces. You know, if you're going to be on LinkedIn, you got you got you got you got to create content pieces. How do you do that without going crazy? I give you three different methods inside inside the, the uh, training course, so you don't find yourself trying to recreate the world's content every single day. So I give you three different ways of creating content, so you can be of relevance to those who are now in your network. I'm also going to show you how to how to follow up specifically. There's a tool I want I want to show you it's inside the, the training course. LinkedIn is horrible with follow up. The way LinkedIn is shaped, the way that it currently works, it's not good with follow up at all. So I'm going to show you a tool that that will help you do follow up effectively. In fact, I've got a one click follow up mechanic. I'm really excited about it. I think it's really cool. It makes it so much easier to follow up with, with people you actually want to do business with. So I'll show you that in, in, inside the course. And. Uh, yeah, yeah, th there, there you go. Oh, I'm also going to show you how to measure success. Right. So you're working this process. You got your workflow. You're working the way you're supposed to. But how do you know if it's working? How do you measure success? Right. Because some days you feel good. Some days you feel bad. But on days where you, where you don't feel so good, how do you how can you confirm that what we're doing is working is creating the results we actually wanted to create, even if money hasn't rained from the sky yet? So want to help you measure success. So I just realized. Oh, no, I'm good, good to go. Good to go. Um, so so got got. If you got questions, got comments, got concerns, again, um, uh, I want to um, post those. I'll come back and make sure make sure I, I respond to those. So then, uh, there's two more things. Oh, two more things I want I want to talk about here about what's inside the training course. Um, here's one. Here's one because I know I know folks. This is something folks asked about specifically in the in in the survey. Where do you find the hot leads in LinkedIn? Like people who are excited about getting help, people who are actively in process looking for a solution. Where do you find those people? Where are those people? Now, then you know, uh, uh, um, there's no magic here, right? There's no, there's no million million people waiting to just buy to buy your unique service. But there are people who are very. Um, specifically, very deliberately, raising their hands and saying, yes, I want to know more about this. I want to learn more about this. I want to solve this problem in my business. How do you find those people? And, and as a bonus inside the training course, I'm showing you how to do that, how to identify those people and how to interact with those people so that so that so that uh, so you can have the, ne the next conversation. Right. People are raising their hands inside the LinkedIn platform, but you got to know how to find them and you got to know how to engage. So as a bonus inside the inside the program, I'm showing you how to do that a couple of different ways, actually, how to do that. The second bonus that I have inside the program that I'm personally excited about is how to outsource this work when you're ready to do that. So when you're ready. How do you outsource this work? Because by the way, I built this program with the assumption that you're starting from nothing. Because that when I began to do this direct outreach stuff and have conversations, I didn't have a lot of help and I didn't have a lot of savvy. I was just pounding away at the keyboard trying to trying to trying to get it to get it done myself. So how do you so when when you're when you're starting from nothing, so to speak, right? What do you do? How does it work? How do you protect your day so it doesn't overwhelm you? The program is designed, or the training course rather, is 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 designed to help you from that perspective. So starting at the base, and then you can add things on top of that. But if you're ready to hire someone to help you with this, how do you do it? I have hired multiple virtual assistants, and I have had a range of experiences. And that's a story for another day. One of the things I was most disappointed about, about my experience with virtual assistants is that they didn't, they weren't very savvy in the client acquisition process. They never done it before, didn't know how to do it. And, and more challenging than, than, it, than, it, than it should have been. 
This training course gives you a step-by-step -step approach that you can train your VA on. So now your virtual assistant can help you generate new conversations. That's now a reality with a, with a training course like this one. That excites me personally because I've been down the road of doing it all by myself, trying to hire help and it not working and me end up being frustrated by it. So if you're starting out by yourself, great. You can follow the steps. You can do that, get some momentum. And then when you're ready, you can hire someone outsource this and they can help you generate more conversations. And this training course, it does the training for you. Big deal to me. So there are two bonuses tied to tied to this training course. And I just explained them. One is about how to find the hot leads, folks who are raising their hands and saying, I'm interested. Take, take me, take me to the next step. The second bonus is how to hire a virtual assistant, outsource the work so that you can get some help with specifically client acquisition. So those are the, are, the, are the two bonuses. So then, so then, with all that being said, let's recap it. Let's recap it here. So bring it on home, and then I'll address the questions that are here. Um, and then we'll see what happens. In closing here, what's a new client worth to you? Bottom line, what's a new client worth to you? If your gut says a couple of hundred bucks, you're in the wrong place. This, this is not the right place for you. This is a process designed for people who are selling four-figure services and up. So however you shape that is fine. That's that's you gotta be you gotta be there. Okay, I've said that. You're looking for a process, right? You're looking for a process so you can start smart, as one of your colleagues said meaning you want the minimum viable approach, the fewest number of steps to get the maximum return on your time. What is that? I've outlined that in, in, this, in this training course. You need a process focused on measurable results, right? Things need to happen. What are those things? Are they happening? Uh, you want connections. You want conversations. This, pro, this, this training course is, is going to help you get that, get that organized. You need a process so you can follow up. So you talk to somebody that was great. Maybe they became a client. Maybe they didn't. But how do you follow up? And how do you do that with, without it becoming a classic mess? <laughs> we got to organize here in the, in the in the training course. You need a process that will respect your time. You can't be doing client acquisition stuff all day, every day. It's just not nearly as cool as it sounds. And so you got to make sure that you can manage your time, manage your day, and also leverage your time and leverage your day. And so this training course is designed to help to help you do that. Um, so now, right now, I'm confronting you with, with, with a decision. I've explained what this training course solves for, lead generation. That's where you are. And that's, that's what you need. I'm trying to put the best answer solution I've got for you right in front of you. You can take this course or you can go back into the world of marketing and try to find some other better, faster way of doing it. Your choice. Your choice. But there is a choice. And so please make that choice, whatever you believe to be most appropriate for you. OK. Folks had questions. Folks had questions. So 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 let me. So now I'm scrolling and I'm, I'm getting I'm getting down down to questions here. Um, so actually, what I'll do is I'll, I'll change. I'll change this to Q and A. That's because that, that's that, that's where we are now. All right. So then. Uh, Paulo asked the question, uh, how much should I charge? Could you talk about prices and, and types of services? Um, how much should you charge? All right. For what, Paulo? Right. Truly, literally for what? I mean, you know, <laughs> there's so many options here. So so um, um, please ask the follow up question. Tell me what kind of services you, you're currently offering. Tell me what price point you're currently functioning at. Um, but I mean, my goodness, there, there are so many different types of services you could you could offer. Um, what, should, what, should, what, should, what should you be charging for that? I've already kind of given you a, a place to begin to think about charging. Um, we've already kind of addressed that. But if you've got a question about that, please ask the direct question. I'm happy to respond. Uh, so that, that was Paulo. Uh, got, a, got a thumbs up from a deal. Thank you so very much. Uh, Maurice said the only constant is change. So he was referring to this constant change of what digital marketing is and how it's shifting and the pressure it's applying to businesses. Indeed. Um, what else? What else we got here? All right. So. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. All right. So Arthur asked the question, what's the difference between this LinkedIn training course and the uh, coveted consultant program that I offer? Right. So uh, I want to be very clear and, and describe this as a training course because that's what it's designed to be. So this training course that I'm talking about right now is specifically focused on LinkedIn lead generation. That's what it's focused on. OK, it doesn't focus on service development. It doesn't focus on creating productized services. It, it, it doesn't it doesn't focus on creating that next level, that next tier offering for you. It doesn't do all the heavy lifting, advanced stuff. It's not designed to do that. This is designed to help you create conversations as fast as you possibly can. That's the focus here. So if that's again, like I said, to begin today's uh, uh, content here. If your number one issue right now is lead generation, then this is the solution for you. If you're trying to level up the business, if you are, if you're serving clients right now and you're like, yep, what I'm doing is cool, but I, it's time to do it better. I've got a better structure. My offerings have even better conversations, attract even better level clients. Then this is not the training course for you. There is, a, I have a full coaching program that's much heavier in its scope and much heavier in, it, in, its, in, its, in its delivery. So if you need, if you need clients, you need leads, you're in the right place. If you need something, need the heavier coaching offer, that's, that's what that coaching program is about. Okay. So that's, that's the, that's the, the, the difference there. Um, Again, questions about that, please ask. Uh, Eric asks, is the training specific to marketing professionals? I have a software development business. It sounds generic, but just checking. Right, so uh, um, I made the point about digital applying pressure to businesses, and I made the point that that pressure comes from a variety of angles, and uh, software, creating software, using software is one of those things that, that clients, because of the digital pressure, now I have to figure out, right? They're going from paper to digital. They're, they're going from manual to software. And, and so these are some of the kinds, of, these are the kinds of problems that your client is dealing with. So, so does this uh, process that I'm describing work for software companies? Of course it does. Of course it does. The, the prerequisite here is that you must solve a problem. So simply offering software and eh, different. But you've got to be in touch with what that problem is. The training course gives you some quick support on that, so you can quickly frame it and 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 deploy it. Um, but yeah, you got to you got to solve solve a problem, and that's what you want to be having conversations about when you're on, on the LinkedIn platform. The problems that you solve. So, follow up questions, please ask them. Happy happy to address those. Um, Shelby. Had the same question as Eric, Shelby said. Uh, I had the same question as Eric. It sounds like the process will be generally useful, but I want to make sure it's not too tailored to lead gen for marketing. No, um, um, yeah, Shelby, I, I think I, I may have already answered the question. If I haven't, just, just, just very quickly here. We're trying to use LinkedIn to create conversations. Uh, if you sell services to businesses, this is useful for you. If you sell marketing, Marketing is, is one, or some some element, some version, some type style of marketing. We know that's something. We know that's a problem that a lot of businesses have. That businesses have, right? Marketing is a problem that businesses have, but businesses have a lot of other problems too. So if you know what that problem is, then then this process will help you create conversations around the specific problem that you solve. Okay. Questions about that? Let me know. What else we got here? What else we got? So Frankie said 5K. Uh, I'm not quite sure what, what Frankie was talking about, but uh, maybe that, that, that was he was telling tell us what he, what he charged. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> if, 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 if there's a question there, Frankie, please ask it. Uh, Shelby asks, what's the, what's the format of the course? Uh, is it watching videos and doing steps purely on our own? Is there some sort of inter interactive element, questions, problem solving forum, et cetera? So at this precise moment, at the moment of me creating this course, it's designed to be a solo course that you get immediate access to that you can follow all by, all, all, all by yourself. That is, the, that is the design of the course. It's, it's not designed to require or to need a bunch of other stuff to help you see it through. So the, the effort here is about speed to conversations. That's the, that is the design of the training course. If you're in the course and need support, then let's, let's do that. Let's, let's have, let's have that question. Take the step, take the course. You need support. Send me an email. We'll talk about it. We'll deal. 
OK, so if, if there's if there's some support folks, folks would like, I'm open to that conversation, but I got to know what that support is. Right. But as as designed as as this course is designed, you can get it, digest it, move it, push forward into in, in into execution where you don't need 100 support items. Right. That's the intention. Uh, so Frankie says training is on point. Very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Veronica asks, is Sales Navigator a version of premium or do you have to enroll in premium separately? Um, LinkedIn is goofy about this, right? Verona right, Veronica? My apology. <laughs> LinkedIn is goofy about this. Um, uh, I'm talking about the Sales Navigator account specifically. So there's the, there's the free version. Doesn't cost you anything. You know, you can just log in today and, and, and have an account. And then there's the um, Sales Navigator is specifically what I'm talking about. Um, I'm detailed inside the training course exactly where to go to sign up and, and, and all, all that kind of good stuff. Um, but LinkedIn, to, to, for those of you who may be less familiar, LinkedIn has 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 experimented with different tiers of offerings, different different types and styles of you know membership, whatever. Don't get caught in that stuff. You want the Sales Navigator because Sales Navigator does what, all of what I've described. It, it gives you the ability to do that stuff. The other offerings do not do that. They, they do something different. So. Uh, Good to go. Thank you, Veronica, for asking clarity about that. Uh, Shelby, <laughs> Shelby smiles. She, Shelby smiles. She says, "Oh, I know all the problems, <laughs> meaning her the problems that her clients have. She knows, <laughs> she knows the problems." Well, great, Shelby. Then it sounds like this, this this might be a fit for you. You'll you'll decide on your own. You'll you'll decide on your own. But all right, great. So Arthur asks, "What are the absolute requirements for successful leveraging of this course? What will make it the most effective?" Uh, author, I've tried to be as direct as I can be about that. If you have a, a specific concern, uh, please ask the specific concern. Um, you've got to have a LinkedIn account. You've got to have LinkedIn Premium or Sales Navigator. Um, start. That's the that's, that, that's the the basics. Uh, but there aren't ten other software programs you got to have. So if 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 that if that's your concern, bingo. Um, um, I recommend some tools that are kind of advanced tools. I made the point about nine basic elements and three uh, advanced elements. So I recommend some tools that may help accelerate, you know, make things even better, faster, stronger, whatever. Uh, but as far as, you know, basic usefulness of the of the course uh, and getting conversations the fastest way possible, uh, the only the only other thing you've got to pay for is the is the sales navigator. Every everything else is just it's just a matter of you getting organized so you can maximize LinkedIn. If you got a follow up, please ask it. All right, uh, Eric says, uh, excellent point about solving a problem. Thanks. Uh, been on a journey discovering the, that very thing. It was quicker to say software development, um, but yes, I've developed a service. I'm working to launch that. Da da da. -da. Excellent point. Other marketing specials. All right, good. So Eric is just simply saying he's developed his own version of, of a productized service. Great. If you got it and you're ready to roll, roll, sir. Roll. Roll on. If this if this training course helps you roll on, I'm all for it. So join it. Go. Go. <laughs> I mean, truly, seriously, don't get don't get caught in this analysis paralysis, overthinking and trying to outsmart yourself. Man, go have some interactions. Have some conversations. See if somebody wants some help and move on. Move on. Uh, all right, great. Yeah, Frankie was saying 5K it was his response uh, for how much a client was worth to him. That's a good number, Frankie. Uh, I mean, I mean, could you charge even more, do even more? Yes, you could. We can, we can have lots of fun about that. But yeah, if, if, if a client is worth $5,000 to you over the lifetime of their work with you, then that's a good number. And then th that begins to make your effort in LinkedIn worth the effort. So great. Good for you, sir. Uh, so Veronica says... Right. So it's $65 a month. Take care of, of, of that expense. Um, Veronica, I think I think again, I'm, I'm live on the spot right now. So we, I, we, we can fact check in a minute. Uh, but I think $80 a month is what LinkedIn is charging today for Sales Navigator. $80 a month. Now, that number may 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 fluctuate up, up or down. Uh, but let's make sure, you know, because Veronica is asking a very good question here. Um, Let's make sure we say, step back and see this the right way. We're talking about $100 a month, even, even if it costs that, $100, $100 a month to give you access to your ideal client. How else are you going to get access to your ideal client? 
you know, are you going to send them a letter of, uh, 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 you know, snail mail? Are you going to carry your pigeon? Like, how else are you going to do it? So, I mean, LinkedIn practically gives, gives, gives us a way of getting access to people we could really help and really serve at a high level, right? Other folks were saying $5,000 is, 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 is where their, their service number is or where their um, client value, service value is. You know, if you're playing in that field, is it worth 100 bucks a month if it costs that to get access to those people? I think it is. You make your own decision. Uh, so Veronica says, thanks. Got it. Wonderful. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, Arthur's asking, do you need pre-existing content to run with? If so, how much? Um, you do not need pre-existing content. If you need to create content, I give you that guidance specifically inside this training course whatever that content might be. So if you need to create it, I tell you exactly where you might need it and I help you fast forward and create it. So again, in the effort of speed to create new conversations, yeah, so you don't have to have tons of YouTube content or 45 webinars or whatever. Nope, no, 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 no. In fact, going down that route is painful, isn't it? Isn't it? It's, pain. it's painful, okay. Um, so ask a question about content. Got it. Uh, so Keith, what was providing, was providing some, some clarity. Thank you, Keith. Keith says sales navigators, 80 bucks a month. Um, uh, it's 70 bucks a month if you pay for all 12 months in advance. So th thanks, Keith, for, for providing that clarity. Um, cool beans, cool beans. Uh, Veronica's charging. She says, I charge in between 10K and 25K. Yeah, like if that's where you're charging... Then, then the effort on LinkedIn begins to make sense. Yeah, I, I, you, it's it's worth investing to figure it out, make it make it make it go. So I'm trying to give you speed. I'm trying to give you man. I've, I've taught a lot of stuff. I've taught a lot of stuff, and and human conversations work the best. And if you get on the phone, you know. So what's the process of getting on the phone, honestly dialoguing, and seeing seeing if they want to become a client, seeing if you can solve that problem? What's the fastest way of doing that? And I'm trying to I'm trying to give you the, the accelerant that I didn't have. Um, all right. Good to go. Good to go. All right. So I will check one or two other places. Sometimes questions come in another, in another place. So I'm checking those really fast. I'm checking those really fast. And it looks like, looks like we are good. Looks like we're good to go. So um, um, I won't hold this. I won't belabor. Thank you. Oh, did, did, did I miss anything? Uh, Frankie asked the question, do we, need, do we need a lot of recommendations on our profile? No. No, sir, you don't. You do not need a lot. That's one of those things. Is it, if you have them, great. Are they nice to have? Yes. If you have 100 of them, good for you. But if you got zero, that's okay too. There is another way of Navigating LinkedIn and navigating this thing that doesn't require 100 recommendations on your profile. I'm serious. I'm serious. So um, good. All right. So I think we're, we're, we're good to go, folks. Thank you so much for, for your time today. I've enjoyed making these making these content pieces. If the program makes make, makes sense for you, or the training course rather, if the training course makes makes sense for you. The access is is beneath this video or somewhere really close to you. Join it. Right. You got a question. Once you're in it, you're missing something. You got a question. Ask the question. We'll improve it. We'll make it better. I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to support it. If LinkedIn is your is your I'm sorry, if lead generation is your number one challenge, I want to I want to help you use LinkedIn to resolve it. Thanks again for your time. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.